Over the past five to six years, dad shoes have been the hot trend and New Balance continues to crush it with their collaboration with Stodd. And it just so happens I have a pair. So in today's video, I'm discussing the New Balance and Stodd 327 collaboration right after the intro. What's good, bro, and welcome to Esteemed Image. My name is Jason. If it's your first time tuning in, I want to personally say thank you. I create videos just like this to help men build their confidence through style. And you can come kick it with me every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday. Real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to today's esteemed guest, Chris Rawls. Man, thank you so much for being a part of the family. And bro, you actually inspired me to create this video, so I hope you enjoy it. If you would like to become an esteemed guest of an episode, all you have to do is like this video and simply subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into the review. So like most things, I'm pretty late to the trend, but lately I've been really feeling New Balance. You know, they've been around for a while and I really like their aesthetic. They have a bunch of different styles to choose from and so I decided to get a pair a couple weeks ago. I actually tried to get the outer space with the light gray 327s, but they didn't have them in my size. But then I came across the Star collaboration and I fell in love with them. So I copped a pair. So these are actually inspired by their 70s running shoes. 327 is a bold blend of retro and modern and right now unlike anything else in your closet. Like I said, this iteration of this shoe is their collaboration with Stodd. Now, if you're not familiar with Stodd, Stodd is actually a luxury LA-based women's brand, which I think is pretty dope. Now, this specific colorway is listed as unisex, which I think is really cool. Unlike some of their other colorways, they're very bright, but I think this colorway is very muted and it leans more masculine. So this is why I went with this specific pair. So let's go ahead and get the price out of the way. These are listed at $149.99 and after taxes, shipping, and all that stuff, I paid about $160 for them. Now, normally New Balance runs about $75 to $100, bucks, but basically I was paying for the collab, obviously, which is fine by me. But if that's something that you're not cool with, I would suggest going with one of their more mainstream or basic colorways to save you a little bit of money there. So right out of the box, you can see that this is a very beautiful sneaker, uh, which is again why I chose this colorway. So one of the reasons why I decided to choose this specific style, the 327, is because they're not as bulky as some of the other New Balance styles. I have a small, narrow foot to begin with, so having a bulky shoe really doesn't fit my aesthetic and it would make me look weird. So I decided to go with this more streamlined style. Right here is the style number, and some of the other product details are the adjustable lace closure for a customized fit, the bulk old in logo branding, heritage inspired design with a stylish look, the upper features pierced skin overlays with a leather vamp for a premium look and feel. As you can see right here, I love the way the bottom of the sole is with the, the gum sole with these bumps if you will. I don't know exactly what these are called, but I mean, I really like this. It's a real classic look, but this is a, a really dope looking shoe. The added detail to the aglets are dope as well. And that actually takes me back and makes me think about a Phoenix and Ferb episode where they were trying to figure out what it was. I'll post a clip so you can check it out. A -G -L -E -T, don't forget it. But I digress. So if you're an OG subscriber, then you know that blue is definitely my color, hence the watch. So that's why, again, I went with this specific colorway. As you see, you know, the end logo with the Carolina blue and with the back here with this royal blue, it's a really nice touch. And you know, with the toe box, with the light gray, this will look great styled. So I will not do a lookbook for this video, but if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you will get notified when I drop that video. Something else that's really cool about the shoes is the the light blue star logo on the tongue this was a cool collaboration the shoe is very very chic very sexy and like i said it's unisex so you and your lady can check it out so as you can see right here, this is a pretty cool looking box. Fun fact about me, I like to keep all my shoe boxes for all my shoes, kind of a habit that I have. But anyway, let's talk about what's in the box. So the box came wrapped in this white tissue paper. And when you first open the box, you see this white dust bag right here. It's a really nice dust bag. It's made of really good quality. I think it's dope that a pair of sneakers came with a dust bag. I don't have any sneakers with the dust bag. So it's a pretty cool touch. Something else that's pretty cool outside of the sneakers were a pair of shoestrings, as you can see right here. And that's it. 
like that's all that came in the box so i was a little bit disappointed because i expected to maybe have like another pair maybe like a, a light gray pair of shoestrings to match the toe box but that was it so that was kind of disappointing but again not a deal breaker but i do like that they gave you the royal blue shoestrings to swap them out or you can wear a royal blue in one and the white one in the other which is pretty dope now for me, I normally wear a size seven or a seven and a half in sneakers. So I decided to go with the seven just to be on the safe side. And I'm glad I did because they fit me pretty well. Again, I have a small foot, so I decided to go with the seven and they're very narrow. So I didn't want them to be too big on my foot. So they fit pretty true to size. I would suggest that if you do have a wider foot because these shoes are more narrow to go up a half size so you can have more room in your shoe and they're not uncomfortable. These shoes are very lightweight. New Balance is known to have very comfortable shoes and these shoes fit that bill so I'm very glad that I got them these is probably something that I wear when I'm out you know on the town running errands or something like that just for the added comfort so actually as I was lacing the shoes to try them on I was able to pull out the insole and as you see it's a nice insole and so again it adds to the comfort so if you're looking for a comfortable and stylish shoe definitely go with New Balance 327 now, like I said I really love these shoes but I ran into an issue and I want to talk about it real quick. In this clip right here, you see me, you know, kind of modeling the shoes so you can see how they look on my foot. But when I took them off, I noticed signs of creasing started to show at the toe box, which is kind of disappointing. So the shoes, like I said, are very lightweight. So that means that the leather isn't going to be as sturdy as like a more um, thicker shoe. Just be mindful of that. I have not worn these outside of the house. So I'm pretty sure that when I wear them for an extended period of time, they will crease even more. That's kind of a problem. But again, it's not going to stop me from wearing them if you're like me and only wear your premium sneakers two to three times a year it's not going to be that big of a deal anyway if you like to wear your shoes often it might be a problem now what i can say is because these shoes are so soft and lightweight they do not need to be broken in like some sneakers or other shoes so overall, I'm very happy and pleased with this purchase. Although I had to spend 160 ish for them. Again, I know I'm paying for the collaboration, which is fine because I have a spending problem. But overall, I am pleased with it and I think you should check them out for yourself. Question of the day, fellas. Do you like these type of review videos? And if you do, what other collaborations would you like for me to review? Again, if you're excited to watch me style these shoes, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I drop that video. As always i appreciate you guys for watching and remember dress better build your confidence and pick yourself up a pair of new balances